get on guys, this is Joe Watt, a brand new video, and today it's time for episode 7 of Bully, moving into chapter 2 today. The reason we're on the poor screen is because we're just about to start an art class. Now, we were going to do Hattrick versus Galloway, but unfortunately we have to do this lesson first, because we were about to get caught by the prefects. <clears throat> so, let's do a bit of art for Miss Phillips before, and if you don't obviously remember this, this is the uh, enemy game, if you remember. And this is quite fun, actually, to do. And I'd just like to say while I'm doing this, I really, really, really appreciate the support so far. Now, I'm recording this just after, well, the day after I released the episode 6, which was with the fights against Russell. Now, you guys have given so good support so far. And, I'm, you know, I'm really enjoying doing this series. Oh, everyone else has froze. That's nice. You know, I'm really enjoying doing this series at the moment, and, you know, it's just great. And it's something completely different for me, and it seems that you guys are enjoying it as well. So that's the only thing I could ask for. So as we move into Chapter 2, make sure to leave this video a like, because at the end of the day, um, you know, hopefully you do enjoy. So we've finished the, our art lesson now, art lesson 2. So that's, uh, that's two lessons of art done, and we've only got to do three, and we've passed art, and that means we don't have to do that class anymore. So, I think, I think we can do Hattrick versus Galloway now. Let's go and have a look. So, we've got a kissing bonus from that art one. I don't really know how art can increase your kissing, but, you know. Oh, um, well, it must be at a different time that we uh, can't do that. That's weird. Um, so, let's actually go and do character sheets, because that was the mission that was we've helped Gary. So, we might as well do these in order. So, let's go and do character sheets. Bunch of thieving jerks! What's up, Melvin? Ah, greetings. Hmm. Jimmy, listen. Some ruffians took it upon themselves to steal my grottos and gremlins character sheets and won't return them. We're playing tonight. The whole situation is untenable. Grottos and gremlins? Boy, you are sad. Sad? I'm distraught! Role-playing is the high point of human achievement. In fact, Upon reflection, I am prepared to offer a bag of groats to the fair knight, whomsoever recovers these precious screens. Do you accept the quest? How much? Ten groats. What? I mean ten bucks. Wait here. And you can have your pick of my wenches. Great. Well, <clears throat> how sad. Just like Pokemon. Let's go and get the character sheets. Oh, you don't have to go outside the school for this one. Ah, right, let's go over the fence. You're right, cheeky. Right, we need to, uh, right, we need something from you, from Melvin. And we're gonna do, if you, oh no, we're, we're gonna have to, um, ooh. Until one of you gives up. If you win, you get the sheet. If not, we can. That's just stupid. Maybe, but I go first. <laughs> Get up, get up, get up. Kick him. Whoa! What? He gave up already? Well, that was easy. That was incredibly easy. I thought that would take quite a while there. So, yeah, we've got to go and get his Dungeons and Dragons kit or whatever. Right, let's go and get him. Let's get his sling. Let's get my slingshot out. I don't care about weapon violence. We've got to get this back. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Put it away. No. Where up? Where's he gone? Yeah, I I've just had to do that because, yeah. Uh, hello. Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to hit it at you. I've been a very bad boy. Right, where are you? Over here. Get him. Get him. Get him. Nice. Can I have you? Can I have your thing now? Yep, that's another sheet. Nice. Uh, where is the? I should have really gone back round. Oh my god, this skateboard is terrible. I honestly can't wait until we get a bike. That is the point in the game where it's really cool. Where's the other sheet? Is it behind our dorm now? I guess it is. Oh, it's another chap here. Ah. Oh, don't bully him. That's horrible. That's, that's just horrible. Don't bully him. Right, simple thing. Ship out. And get that off him. Oh. Yay! Weapon violence. Right, it's another character sheet, and we just need to go and get one more. 
And we need to be careful because we will be truing to in a minute. So let's go and get the other character sheet. I don't know where it is. It's over here. So, oh, sorry, Algonon. Uh, is it over here? I presume it's in the auto trade thing in my bob shop, Blair. Uh, yeah, it is, it looks like. So let's go around. There's going to be more bullies in here, I can guarantee it. Right, where are you? Where? Oh, whoa! Calm down. First off, get out of my way. Batter him. Batter him. Uh, oh, calm down. Way. Right, um, we've got the other character sheet. Brilliant. Now, they need to return the sheets to Melvin. And then, yeah, we will be able to go and do... I mean, we might do Gym 2, or we might do the missions. I'll decide when we go back to Melvin, because to be fair, this game is obviously more about the missions. I might do an episode where we do a lot of the, you know, lots of the lessons, because I feel the missions have to really take main part in this game, because obviously you don't finish the game by doing the lessons. The lessons are kind of like a side note, and so it's like a little bit of realism to the game, but they are quite fun as well, little mini games, if you like. And we've got to take this back to Melvin, and there we go. Can have, we have our £10 now, or $10 or whatever. And apparently recovered his precious documents. It's basically like his birth certificate. Right, and, and Jimmy just wants the money. Right, 10 10 10 dollars 10 bucks as they call it. Wow, that's fairly a lot, actually. That's the most we've got in this game so far, anyway. So, la next mission we're going to do, I think... Uh, let's check. Yes, last minute shopping. Let's go to... This is the one with the cook, so let's go to the cook and see what the cook is up to. Nice! Ah, shut up, kid! It adds flavor to it! You wanna give it a go? Sure. Achoo. Achoo. Try and get some bits in it! I've got performance anxiety! <laughs> get used to it, kid! You're a man! It's all downhill from here, my friend. Anyway, what do you want? Nothing. The head sent me. He did? Oh, yeah! I need you to go to town and pick up some meat and other things for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put one of Ms. Phillips' cats in the casserole again. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. I need some meat from Yum Yum Market. Oh, and a razor from the barbers for my stash. And, um, oh yeah, some new knickers from Warren Inn. I've had these on since last term. <laughs> uh, hurry up! Go, take my bike. It's that fine machine out there by the school gates. All right. <laughs> <Gross>. <laughs> it appears to be Edna Harriet, Ainsley Harriet's wife. Wow. So that was quite interesting, she is pretty gross, but we do get to ride a bike and, and the second thing is, we do get to exit the school gates for the first time. So if you've never been on this game before, this will be definitely a first for you. So it is just by the school gates, the bike, let's go, it, it doesn't really make sense why the gates were closed before. And as you can see, this is Bullworth. So let's get on the bike, pretty much the same as... Um, Normal, and we got to go to Bullworth Town, which is this side, I think, from memory, because I haven't been on this game for ages. As you can see, this is Bullworth Town. The other side of the town is Old Bullworth Vale. And we've got to go to Yum Yum Market, Warning, and somewhere else, I think. As you can see, uh, yeah, this is the town. So, um, ah, that's the handbrake. So that's Yum 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 Market. Oh, sorry. Of course, obviously, it's police rather than prefects out here. But let's go and get some meat from Yum Yum Market and give it a good old rub, as Ainsley Harriet would give it. And, uh, right, let's go and get this. Start purchasing. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, is it here? Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, right, we've got the meat. We've got the meat. It expires at midnight. Wow. Oh, that's the discount. Right. It would be quite interesting if it actually did expire at midnight because that would be a bit of a crap sell by the day in my opinion but the happy mullet what what did we need from that was that a wig or something i can't remember ah edna's oh god edna's razor for a moustache she's a woman she doesn't need a moustache well she doesn't she shouldn't have a moustache anyway uh well let's not talk about that anymore but the last item is edna's knickers to put it um 
bluntly. Yeah, and that's the that's the cinema there. And this is that's come hither. And what I, I, I keep thinking that it's like GTA controls or any other decent car game that it's LT to stop. But that's actually that's that, 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 that's actually push. No punch. Oh my god, I get, I'm getting all my words. Well, I, I just I just can't speak anymore. I'm getting all my words wrong. There we go. Bag of laundry and yeah, that's it then for Edna. That was fairly easy. I think that's all to the mission. There better not be a catch, but I think there will be because. I doubt that this mission would last for this short a time. So let's go back to Bullworth and give the... Yeah, take... Oh, take... No, we don't need to take the bus back to school. Take the bike. Because I don't think Edna would like her bike left in town. As you can see, there's cars. From my understanding, I don't think we drive a car in the game. From what I can remember. But I'm not quite sure. But let's return to Edna with the items, the cook. And... Right, let's just leave the bike here. Yeah, oh, what? Obstructing authority? Well, I can't come inside the school, can they? Because, you know, outside of school, it's police, inside it's prefects. That doesn't really matter. We're only really getting done for truancy here. Now, why do I keep doing what the skateboard up there? I know it's just going to fail. So let's take this back to Edna. Where is Edna? She's in here somewhere, I think. Edna, hello. Right, Edna's just in the kitchen or the cafeteria where she always is. And, um, yeah, hopefully she'll be happy with her stuff back. You better use that meat soon. The clerk said it expires at midnight. Nonsense. There are no fuzzy eaters at Bullworth. It'll last for a month. I think that's slightly against, um, you know, a, a nutritional value or what's the word? F food states, food safety or food standards authorities, I'm pretty sure. Uh, gym 2. But, well, I don't know, we're not going to be able to get there in time. Yeah, the, the lesson's finished, so let's go and do small offences now. Feels like we're doing so much this episode, but really the only... Oh, and now there are um, some jobs we can do. So we can do a paper route, which is fairly self-explanatory, and do some lawn mowing as well. Um, so, ah, we can do Hattrick versus Galloway now, but look, but we're, we're on the way to small offences, and I think, presuming with the plate it is, I presume, unless it's out of town, it's with the, ho no, oh, it's in town, which one should we do first then? Uh, we can, oh, hello, what's H? Uh, a little, ah, let's go and do that then, actually, a little help too, with the hobo. I suppose you want to train again. Good to see this is just training, obviously. You know, we we did get the transistor a few times, if you remember. But yeah, we did, we did, we got that last episode or the episode before, just out of doing a pure mission. That's the leg sweep combo, so we kick him in the legs. And you know, this mission will probably be another short one as well, to be honest. Because, you know, like the uh, other ones, the other two we've done so far, they seem to be really short. But actually, there's no point going into town yet. So if we can, let's go and do Hattrick versus Galloway. So if we can actually get to school. Oh, don't bully Algy. Right, wait, hold on. No, you absolute bully. How dare you? How dare you pick on Algy? I mean, he's done nothing wrong. And you're just jealous of him because he's clever. Right. Problem solved. Hello, Eunice. You're right. And uh, see, I treat everyone with respect. Oh, that's a bit nasty. Um, and let's go and do Hattrick versus Galloway anyway. School rules are quite clear on this subject. Quite clear. No alcohol on school grounds. Uh, you're drunk. Uh -huh. I can smell it on your breath. Uh? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not drunk. Drunk? In charge of children? What kind of monster drinks in front of children? A uh, parent? A disgraceful one, yes. You've got a problem, haven't you? Uh, I'm just under a lot of pressure. Uh. Well, I'm a kind and supportive colleague, Galloway. And as such, I think it is my duty to get you sat. Uh, do whatever you want, Hattrick. You always do! The head will find out about this! You okay, sir? Ah, uh, Jimmy. No, I'm not okay. 
I'm half drunk and I'm about to get fired. Fantastic. Oh, I'm a washed up old drunk and I'm only 34. English, you see, is a difficult subject to teach. I've tried any number of things to dull the pain. Yoga, meditation, needlepoint, looking at dubious sites on the internet, but nothing dulls the pain like scotch. Come on, sir, put that away. Are you mad? This is manna from the gods. Give me that. Let's get rid of this before you get busted. Oh, that's very kind of you, Jimmy. Miss Phillips is the only teacher to know about my vice. Take it to her. She will know what to do. He seems a bit drunk. He seems just a little bit drunk. Don't you think? No? Yes? Oh, we did find the bottle in the cavern. Wait, what? Where's the bottle? I'm really confused. Oh, is this pain tricks? It's there. Apparently it's up here. It's in there. Oh, bugger it. It's meant to be in the cafeteria. Oh, we've got to find it in here. Uh, where could it be? Hello? Where is the bottle? Where is the bottle? I can't find the bottle and you probably can. Ah, there we go. It's back here. Nice. Oh, that's a rubber band. Oh, we did get Galloway's bottle. And it, at 25 past three... It isn't even 25 past 3, I can't read the clock. It's 20 It's twenty past 5. Um, I can tell you, I'll tell you he's drunk. Uh, find the bottle in the trophy case. And we've got it, yep, Galloway's bottle. That's Hattrick, that's Hattrick. Nobody likes you, Hattrick, you're a bully. Hattrick's just a bully. He really is just a bully, seriously. Now we've got to find the one in the toilets, find the bottle in the bathroom. Come on, out the way! Sorry, we did kind of punch you, woman, there. It wasn't ri Oh, wow. Is that hat trick that's a bit fat? Bully. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Get the, 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 just don't let her Oh, no. No! 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 We didn't even get a chance. We didn't even get. Probably a victim. But not surprised. One moment, I'll get your record. Do not fight the prefects. Am I making myself clear? Pulling the fire alarm is a serious offense. It will have to stop. A little physical labor might set you straight. I think you're worth a try. Goodbye, Hopkins. Time to pay back the faculty for all their kindness. I don't think you know what kindness means. Uh-oh, it's happened. That has, it's happened. I was talking about it like at the start of the series. Basically, the punishment for getting busted a number of times is you have to mow the grass on the fields. And it's an awfully boring job. And to be honest, it was a bit unfair that we got busted because we were only helping Galloway. But in the end of the way, in the end of the day, we can't really grass on him because, you know... It, it's his job, but his livelihood, really, you know. A, 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 the only good English teacher we have, and to my knowledge, the only English teacher that Bullworth Academy apparently has. And this is easy enough. Job complete. Get off. All right, Hopkins, that's enough. <laughs> She's done on detention punishment. Now, do we go and do Hatchet versus Galloway again? I think we should. Let's go and do Hatrick versus Galloway.